So, Steve Rothwell, Tina, Mods, how are you doing? Uh, Ali Cat, Steve Rothwell, Graham Thomas, hello to you. Leslie White, Linda BT, Laura Coyle, uh, Janelle, Ali Cat, uh, Terry Stapley, Clive, hello to you, my friend. Hope you're doing brilliantly. Hope everything is good. Uh, shall I make some car videos? When will it start? Well, it's right here in front of you right now, my friend. Uh, Laura Cole, Norman Maskell, how are you doing? Have a read, Aviation Geek, Jan L, Samil, uh, Creative M, how are you doing? Uh, Jamie Campbell, Sean Pierce, Ian Mahoney. Uh, me, myself, saying good afternoon, looks like 4K. It's probably got a lot to do with the uh, the weather that's going on here. It's really, really nice uh, for once. So it's doing okay. Andy Williams, how are you doing? Leslie White. Uh, good morning from Japan, how are you doing? Carl Lee, Cheryl Colson, Julie Buscott, how are you doing? Steve Rothwell. Uh, every points Traveller, afternoon uh, London, cold and rainy here in Nashville. Well, I hope you're doing absolutely brilliant. Alan James, Leon Fisher from uh, Alan from Epping in Essex. Uh, Subject Powers, and uh, he's from India. How are you doing? Kevin Triple Seven, uh, Tina Yorks, Mill, Jamie Warren, how are you doing? Becky Davies. Uh, Helen W, Dexter Parker, Richard Elland, Price C, Nanbot, uh, Bid the Boulder, how are you doing? Trevor Vale, The Frozen Biscuit, afternoon to you, hope you're doing brilliantly. So, aircraft. Right there guys, heading out to Belfast. So, getting settled in, nice. Ken Walker, how are you doing? Daniel Harris, Greg Russell. We should be able to get some uh, Heathrow flyovers today as well, I hope. Beautiful stuff. Right, so I'll get back around to the comments in just a mo, guys. I'll track the aircraft first, let it have its uh, right hand turn, and then we'll bring it back around. But good afternoon to everyone. Hello on Facebook as well. Hope you're having a very good Thursday. Oh, sorry, Friday afternoon. Cool, I'm even lost with the, uh, the dates now. And there was the handoff. If anyone does check out the, uh, the British Airways website as well, guys, you'll notice a very... Uh, You'll notice something very familiar, especially on their social media pages. Go and have a look at, uh, at BA, guys, and uh, you'll see one of their Embraers actually racing. Some guys in the boats that we get here. Typical, right. <coughs> so, let's get around and have another look into all this. Right, uh, where are we? Uh, Helen W, so let's see, Charmaine's come my road. Uh, Dexter Parker, you're testing out that new microphone. Uh, not at the second, no, I have got it with me. I'm gonna test it out tomorrow. I should have done it today, but I was like, no, do you know what? I'll leave it for Heathrow, because that's the time when you want the uh, the most sound. Dexter Parkas, AJ Mayer, saying afternoon all. Great to be back on the stream. Hello to you, Max, saying enjoy Gatwick yesterday. Great stream at Gatwick yesterday. Reese Allen, uh, Chris, what happened last night? Reese, I don't know what did happen last night. As far as I'm aware, everything is, uh, I don't know. Those who travel, looking forward to the show. Can you please say hello to Dean, who's watching with fascination? Not a problem at all. Hello to Dean. Uh, 
Ian Mahoney saying I saw that video earlier. Ah, oh, right, the video, yes, the BA video, sorry. Stephen Luscom, afternoon to you. Flugel Shaft, how are you doing, my friend? Great stuff as always, Thomas, how are you doing? Uh, Sassy Bob and Hilton, Ian Mahoney. Uh, Reese Allen, Sam, Chris, what happened last night? I don't know what happened last night. I don't know what, what, was, uh, what was going on, my friend. Uh, Keith Grafton, Martin Organ. Oh, sorry to ask me. Yeah, well, yeah, hence my uh, stupidity. But uh, it fouled miserably. But focus on the Premier League, guys. <laughs> yeah, focus on the uh, on the Premier League. That's the way I'm looking at it now. But uh, that was a long, long uh, amount of hours <laughs> in there yesterday. Love W, hello to you, Roger Not uh, and Hilton. Uh, Jim, yes it is, the uh, the Comet Relief BA race. Uh, Ian Clarkson, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing brilliant. Right, so a little bit of uh, ground ops here at the moment. Have a look just into that as well guys bit of the uh, the weathered for oh, the weather for you there cloud base 2400 feet weather 14 degrees c altimeter 1004 wind speed nine mile an hour 210 degrees on the uh the wind direction probably see there as well we'll just have a look through the uh the weather while we've got it Keith B, hello to you. Yeah, Andy Williams, not much choice at all, my friend. <laughs> uh, Webbo, how are you doing? Hope you're doing brilliant. So, a little bit of uh, on there. I'll give you some of the taff as well, guys. Uh, sorry, some of the metar first. Thank you very much, Max Jet. I appreciate it. And Jim, exactly. That's exactly where we are at. And that's what I'm going to be happy with uh, concentrating on, put it that way. Right. Sorry to bother. Do you know if everything's taking up soon? Uh, it probably soon. There's one landing, my friend, right there now. Uh, probably about 25, 30 minutes, something along them lines. It is, just a little bit. Right, so guys, inbound the next aircraft here. Right, so we get our info on that. Uh, Josh Armstrong, thank you so much, Josh. Much appreciated, my friend. Let me get the... Uh, KJ saying, happy Friday. Happy Friday, indeed. I'm going to share away City Flyer in Brea. Yeah, Josh. Busy man, my friend. And beautifully down. There you go, guys. Inbound from Zurich. City Flyer 299. Yankee Oscar this time operating that service. As you can see, you're right there. Beautiful. Looking good. Josh, hope you've been keeping safe though, my friend. Been a busy man flying all around the world, eh? Uh, ERB saying happy Friday, Chris. Happy Friday indeed, guys. Brian Cox, how are you doing? Hope you're doing brilliantly.
Oh, Trevor Vow, I, I feel for you. To be honest, a couple of seasons ago, I thought Arsenal were going to be uh, the ones that were going to be getting relegated. <laughs> but we're all good. David Gardner, how are you doing? Jim Sen, hello everyone. Ian Clarkson. I know, shame about the, uh, the low cloud base, but we're okay. There is uh, <coughs> patches of openings, which is okay. Kevin Carter, hello to you. Okay, just gaming, hello to you, my friend. Hope you're doing brilliant. Tim Robinson, afternoon. Jack, the, uh, Jack Glick, Super D, watching from Northwest Georgia, USA. Love your programs. Glad you're feeling better too. Yeah, I feel uh, a lot better. I'm still not 100%, but uh, I feel a lot better than I was on Wednesday for sure. Put it that way. Whatever it is going around in the UK at the moment is not very pleasant. I've got rid of. Uh, a little bit of a sore throat and a bit of a headache now, but I think that was probably uh, due to the amount of times so I uh, might blew my nose. But whatever it is going around in the uh, in the UK, it's not nice. Uh, Youssef, hello to you. Dave Gardner, happy St. Patrick's Day as well. Yes, it is. Hello to everyone that's having a, a, a lovely pint of Guinness this afternoon or this evening. Jovino. Uh, Wayne, Keith Grafton saying the sun has got his hat on just for you, Chris. Well... I think we're, uh, we're due a bit of nice weather, put it that way. Uh, Terry M. Yeah. Okay, just saying the planes have changed runways four times today. Well, it would be nice if we could get zero nines. Always there. Albert Anthony saying, uh, let's see, he's circling about the London area airports lately. Uh, the one closest to the touchdown. Yeah, it's all good. We. Uh, we cover all the London airports, every single one, apart from Luton. Uh, just, Josh, just come back from Zurich today. Uh, been good, thank you. How about you? I've been fine, mate. Absolutely fine. It's been a very good month so far. Uh, me, myself, there is cloud over the top of this. Uh, but yes, of course, if we can catch some of the, uh, the inbounds, of course, we will turn around and get them in. Aviation UK... How are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing brilliantly. Andrew Short. So it looks like it's brightening up just a little bit. <laughs> Sean Pierce, making me laugh. Uh, Max Jet. Uh, Ian Mahoney saying we've got a BA from Nice, just over sitting born. Absolutely brilliant. Cyclist, how you doing? <laughs> Where by? <laughs> Ian Brownbill, hello to you. Sophia Miles, uh, I'm flying Canada. Uh, Canada in September, brilliant stuff. Pete uh, Rawlinson, Chris, what you I know, Peter. Yeah, a lot of the thing is, I uh, I spent the night away with. I took uh, took a day. I spent some time with my parents actually in Caister on Sea, a place called Caister on Sea, which is near Great Yarmouth. So I had uh, I had Monday off and I spent it with uh, spent it with me folks. And sometimes you can't uh, you can't put a price on spending time with your uh, your mum and dad. Uh, Clive W. We're getting there, my friend. As I said, I don't know what it is that's uh, that's sort of going around, but it uh, it did knock me for six. Put it that way. Feel very lethargic and yeah. Jack Glick's saying, Estella for me once I get to Jacksonville. Absolutely brilliant. Me, myself, brilliant. Flying fish. Uh, Stephen Luscom. Aviation Geek saying, uh, awesome day to watch the stream. It's going to be raining here in Tennessee today. And I'm off work. Yippee. Brilliant. See where else we're at, guys. I think I might have. Uh... Brian Cox and a friend of mine is learning to fly helicopters. Absolutely brilliant. Andy Williams, it did me too as well. Laura Cole and a BA380 just went over uh, London City. Said so if I can catch them, guys, I will always catch them. You know that we get a bit of a bonus here. We can uh, we can spot an HR as well as LCY. PVD Aviation, say London City Friday, looks like my work is done for a while. Well, thank you so much, PVD. Hope you're doing absolutely brilliant. Dave Udon, it does. It very much does, my friend. So, let's get... Uh, another little bits and pieces. So, let's have a look at some... Andrew Alban, how you doing? Uh, 
So we do have another aircraft currently inbound as well. I can hear that already. Oh, I can hear that on the radio. So I'm going to uh, zoom out. And the next in uh, aircraft inbound is from Nice. So very nice, guys. Uh, City Fly 65 Golf Mike. Tabby Vlogs, afternoon. Not London City related, but. Uh, Tabby Vlogs. No, I haven't seen the uh, the latest Air Mauritius. Uh, London route news. I've not. I, as I said, I've got so much stuff. People send me things day in, day out, and I am just so behind on things that I'm reading. Ah, oh, Clive W. It's lovely, and it was nice uh, spending some time with my parents. Even though I only had uh, the Monday and sort of half of Tuesday, it was just lovely, lovely being there and seeing it. You know. Oh, Aviation UK, very nice. Fingers crossed then. Uh, Max, thank you so much. So we're just waiting for the next aircraft inbound from Nice, guys. Just watch some ground ops just at the moment. Uh, says, I want to play snooker again in London. Please do it, my friend. Uh, Laura calls, and there's uh, an A380. Looks like it's gonna head over London City. Well, just at the second then, guys, I'll show you what we're dealing with. Because if we have a look there, you're only gonna get, you can see the clouds. You're only going to get certain amounts of views. If they're over this part here, absolutely brilliant. But the rest of it heading over towards LHR, as you can probably see, very cloudy, very low cloud base. So it will be all dependent on what we can actually see. This aircraft here, City Fly 65 Golf Mike inbound from Nice. Beautiful shot there as well. And this is the 700th Embraer, my favourite one of all the fleet. I've flown this many times. And if we have a look there, guys, absolutely brilliant. 22 years old, this girl. Richard Mortara, how you doing? John Carter, hello. Hello to everyone at London City as well. Hope you're having a great day. My favorite uh, aircraft of the BA fleet, or the BA City Flyer fleet, shall I say. Yankee November. Very steady, very calm approach. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. The colours look almost spectacular with the way that the sunshine is uh, on the fuselage there. So we're going to uh, follow that round to uh, stand seven. Look at that. Williams, uh, Finn Wingman, uh, partly yeah, the cloudy. Yeah, a lot of people like that. Clive Everly, thank you so much, Clive. 
Chief Grafton. That was the smoothest arrival we've seen. Love this uh, this aircraft. Pete Jakeman saying I worked back in I worked in Caster back in the day. Absolutely brilliant. It's a lovely place. Uh, Aviation UK, yes. As soon as that popped up and they was along here, they were standing on this exact spot and the aircraft departed on uh, runway 09. It was so nice to see. I think it was Sir, uh, Sir Steve Redgrave, wasn't it, that was on there. So fantastic effort from uh, BA for a comic relief. When I see this pop up and they was standing right here, I was like, that is brilliant. It's good to see British Airways giving London City now a bit of love because it's not it's not normally posted on BA's uh, on main site so seeing them open up to it and give it that bit of uh, extra care and extra love and attention I think is amazing so well done BA the one aviation UK uh, Paul Martin uh, I'm about 89% there Betsy Smith saying happy St. Patrick's Day everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day indeed, absolutely brilliant. So one BA in, next BA, getting ready to go. So stand eight this time over there and we have got Yankee Romeo this time, just waiting for it to uh, appear and then we get you some flight info for that as well. I did see the uh, the Airbus A380 on the radar flyover, guys. Unfortunately, uh, the clouds moving quite quickly here, so we're not going to get a. Well, we can pray. Put it that way. Uh, Yusuf, how are you doing, Bessie Smith? Uh, it's no bother enough for Chris to get a coffee or something. Well, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Uh, Brian Cox, quite a lot, but uh, obviously it has to be. evenly loaded I couldn't give you a, a definitive answer Chris Howard saying I've uh, been going to Soul Week, uh, Festival at Caster for many years it was, it was a lovely lovely night away lovely to spend it with, uh, with family as well Susanna saying uh, I'm in Welling, South East London can see them land in the distance and they take off when they're on zero night and beautiful Blair's Aviation saying uh, love the Friday streams at London City we're just uh, settling in now I believe sunsets around about uh, I don't know, 20 past 6 maybe a bit later Tabby Vlogs ah very nice so Emma Richards are going to be going to Gatwick Gatwick's looking very busy it's going to be a good one Hillcrest Arapine saying uh, Challenger 605 passing to the west near Farnborough As a, yes, this is a uh, public viewing point, and uh, it's Royal Albert is what you were looking for. So you're looking for Royal Albert is the station on the DLR. And the aircraft has just pinged up, but unfortunately it's uh, still saying N-A-N-A. -A, just taking its time to uh, update, shall we say. Uh, 
Like this is 10 years old, this aircraft. So Yankee Romeo there, 10 years old. Alan Campion, hello to you. Evelyn MD, thank you so much, love that. Absolutely love that. That's a no worries. Uh, Vic Spector FN, hello to you. It's all right. The uh, the Emirate, the new Emirates livery. It's not. It's not too bad. I don't know. I just like. Uh, I like originals. Looks a bit too modern, if that makes sense. So another aircraft getting out down as well. Yankee uniform this time. David Gardner, yeah, do you know what? I wonder if I potentially got a, a chest infection. Whatever I've had is not uh, it's knocked me out with the past uh, couple of days. Very lethargic. They're just powering through. Uh Shanti saying good night from Indonesia. How are you doing? Yeah, Mahoney. Yeah. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> Andy Moore, it, it would be nice yeah, for all the Arsenal supporters. Obviously, Emirates do uh, do sponsor Arsenal, my team. It would be lovely uh, if they did paint an Arsenal livery, but. It's all to come, and there's many, many more games to go, so let's uh, take it nice and easy. David Legat saying, uh, I don't know, David, I, I didn't even know uh, about that, to be honest. I don't know what was uh, what was happening with it at all, my friend. Joel Cohn, take care, we'll see you again soon. Wow. Aircraft over there, very, very loud. Keith B, agree. James Quidlin, good morning from Australia. How are you doing? So. Let's get that back around there. <coughs> so, Yankee Uniform guys heading off to Amsterdam, which is the second aircraft that we've just seen. I'm just waiting for... Uh, an update. Beautiful. So this aircraft here, guys, heading out to Glasgow, or heading up to Glasgow. 353 miles, an hour and 15 minutes flight time. Thank you, Romeo, operating this air, uh, operating this route. Yeah, Ian Bramble, that's what I've got. I'm just one. There's something going. Uh, there's something going around at the second in the uh, in the UK, mate. We power through though. So out to uh, Glasgow, this aircraft.
second Embraer heading out to Amsterdam. City Flyer 23 X ray. Sounds in the back, beautiful. Lovely shot there of a Golf Lima Charlie Yankee uniform. And only eight years old, this aircraft, guys. Beautiful stuff. Lovely sounds over there. Stephen Rouse saying, afternoon, happy St. Patrick's Day. Absolutely brilliant. Blair's uh, reaction saying, lovely piece of kit. Uh, Andy Moore. <laughs> Katie Price, hello to you. Sophia Miles, love the sound of that. Uh, Paul Martin, quite a lot. I don't have the uh, increased figures, but I will ask. Barry Price, hello to you. Webbo, how you doing? Chris Bevan, afternoon to you, Keith B. Of course, a lot of uh, people think under the weather. Oh, Betsy Smith, so it is something going around. I thought we was, uh, it's it's not nice, but uh, knowing other people have it, I thought, oh, what's done me this time? But Betsy, I hope you get well soon. And your hubby. <laughs> Freddie Dutch, how you doing? Me, myself, absolutely brilliant. So, aircraft heading out to Amsterdam. Sounds like they're going to do a runway inspection as well. And the handoff as well. Very nice aircraft, just uh, taxiing from the private terminal. You see uh, it's a broken cloud over there. And into the grey. Charlie Sierra, uh, Lima Alpha Sierra. Get some info up on that as well in just a moment, guys. Uh, Yusuf Vet, no, this will be uh, this will be opened and uh, will continue to stay open and operational. Yeah, this is uh, this makes a lot of money for uh, for London economy and especially for the uh, for Newham Council. Um, here, this is I would say a gold mine for Newham for Newham Council here, and not only that, this connects everyone to central London within minutes. This is the only airport actually in London that can be classed as in the centre of London. Gatwick Airport, how are you doing, Jimmy? Hope you're doing brilliantly, mate. <laughs> Gatwick Airport got another another membership. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Hope you're doing well though, Jimmy. Hope you're doing well, guys. Terry, thank you so much for that. Much appreciated. Absolute pleasure to see you uh, guys at Gatwick and at LCY tuning in. Brilliant stuff. Hello to you all. Uh, where am I? Am I missing things? Uh, saying I'm sorry but I'm watching my uh, and what was your name sorry it, it comes up in uh, I believe that was in Japanese 
Daily Dose of Aviation saying hello, hello to you. And that's a citation there, Flugelschaft, thank you so much. The only information though that you will receive obviously on the aircraft is there guys and it is net jets obviously it is blocks and you can understand that but uh, there you go beautiful aircraft though charlie sierra lima alpha sierra great aircraft absolutely beautiful oh. So we have another city flyer in Brea as well. It's just uh, made its turn around. That's going to be taxiing out for departure. Keep an eye on the windsock as well in uh, just a moment. A lot of you have asked for that once again. <laughs> Uh, Craig, no I don't. RC Aerotech, how are you doing? Might be, agreed. Saving a bit of, uh, and it always used to happen. We see that many, many times. And this little baby will be up like a rocket. David Patrick keep uh, it doesn't surprise me it is quite quiet though around this uh, around this time up until about five o'clock in the afternoon and just holding to a very lovely place. Very quiet as well. So, so quiet. So next aircraft heading out guys, Fly 561 heading uh, from here in London City up to Edinburgh. Yankee Juliet this time the aircraft. <laughs> Beautiful. Flying fish, you are correct. It's controlled from a place called Swanwick, which is about 80, 90 miles away from here. So, just waiting for departure now. Flyer 561. Uh, seven. Yeah, seven. Uh, 
Beautiful. Between here and Gatwick, guys, we get some uh, very, very loud roaring engines. And turn. And into the dark grey skies. So let's keep our eyes peeled just a moment there. Just while the winding down a second. Right, so anything I have missed, let's go back over some of them comments. Waters, how are you doing? Uh, Stephen Lusco, Chris Bevan, Messenger Mike. Uh, and yes, they, uh, I believe it was the Euro Wings, wasn't it, at Southend? Welsh lad, hello to you. Ah, Rob, okay. Uh, Craig Russell, Sharice, how are you doing? Hope you're keeping safe and well. Hope you're having a, uh, a good shift if you're working. Good to see you, Sharice. Russ saying up and away. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, thank you so much, Flying Fish. Ah, Sharice, not a word today. Xbox and chill. We'll enjoy it. Enjoy. Uh, David, unfortunately, I won't do that just because of um, because of security and things like that. Uh, th that's one thing that I don't. Same as uh, these things at Gatwick, we don't. Show. I don't want to. Uh, these guys have been good to me here. Same as the guys at Gatwick. Uh, I don't want to show anything that potentially could sort of become anything of uh, security if that makes sense you know Reggie TJ hello to you uh, and Tilly saying uh, it's beautiful last time for you see the spray shot beautiful <coughs> Clive W well there is normally a dash 8 that's turning up around now unless it's actually delayed You didn't. CC saying greetings from Barbados. How are you doing? Uh, Roger not saying nothing worse than a toothache. Cool. Sorry guys, just had to blow me uh, blow my nose again there. Right, so we've got that nice chilled out peak. Uh, the Foxy B saying good afternoon all, good afternoon to you, hope you're doing brilliantly. So I'm just going to double check uh, the time of sunset here today guys, because I'm going to see what time we can, uh, what time we're going to roll on to today. Uh, Heather Reed saying, uh, STTV, you are one of the most ethical guys around doing streaming. Well, do you know what? Thank you so much for that, Heather. I really, uh, I really appreciate, really appreciate that. We try our hardest, you know, uh, we will stream the stuff that, 
highlights airports in a fantastic way that just doesn't compromise on on anything negative you know we try uh Cherise, yeah i did you know what as i said on monday i took a, a day away with my family on monday i was in caster on monday when the uh, when the winds hit i did uh, i did hear dino did say to me He said that it was uh, there was go-arounds of all sorts. Ben Hartley, hello to you. Uh, right, where anyone else that I've missed, guys? Anyone that I have missed? Uh, David Leggett, yes, I tested myself for COVID, um, but it looks like in the uh, from what people have said here in the uh, in the comments, it looks like it's something going around, feeling very lethargic, runny nose, like cough. Um, I feel a whole lot better than I did Wednesday. So, the, uh, the Lemsip, Beecham's, other brands are available, have been working, but uh, yeah, there's something that I picked up, I think, over the, uh, over the week. But uh, yes, negative for COVID, which is all good. Uh, Clive W saying uh, sunset 18.07 today, so we should get around about stream time till about 20 past six i do believe second amendment jeffrey you're saying good afternoon have a great week uh, weekend chris they're all great name how are you doing foxy b uh john yule saying chris have you seen the new emirates livery yes i have it's very modern i've been as i said though i've been very used to uh the emirates liveries for years uh, just sort of being how they are. I'm trying to uh bits of adjustments always uh take some getting used to, shall we say. But I quite like it. It is uh, it is modern. A lot of people seem to like it, so that's only a, that's only a good thing. It's got people talking. Uh, Andy Kaplan, hello to you. Yeah, Susanna, it seems to uh, seems to be the case. Rob Brown plane spotting said Emirates 380 returns to Glasgow on the 26th. Very, very good. Craig Russell probably uh, just went under, unfortunately. And Neil Warner Sandal was flying over. That might have been that aircraft that we just uh, caught there. You probably hear a lot of beeping sound in the background, guys. It's just a gentleman who looks like he's doing uh, like running training. Ben Hartley, afternoon, Chris. It is such a lovely airport. It is. It's. It, it is. It is great. Barry Hannaford. Okay. Tony Cooksey, thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really appreciate that. We've now got an opening to the uh, to the back of me, guys, of uh, sort of clear blue skies. It looks like a lot of the, the cloud is shifting. There's no aircraft overflying into LHR. Now, Warner, thank you so much for the uh, continued support. Molly's in the club, how are you doing? I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to uh, remove my jacket for once. It's uh, quite, quite nice here with the sun. Uh, 
And she's very lovely. So just removing some of the ground equipment now. Looks like uh, Stand Free will be the next aircraft that heads out for departure. Uh, Richard Mortar, prop, yeah. So it is stand free that's going to be next. Uh, just waiting for uh, an aircraft to ping. Susanna, thank you so much for uh, continued support. Appreciate it. Barry Hannaford, thank you very much. And Roger Knott, trust me, you're not the only one that feels like that. Sometimes with uh, bits of technology, I feel like that every day. A little bit to the left. Sid Squad, you legends. Hope you're doing well. Hope everything is okay. Remember, guys, if you haven't checked out Sid Squad, please do go over and uh, and give them a follow. Give them a subscribe, guys. Absolutely brilliant stuff from down under. Great hosts too. Brilliant stuff. Susanna, yeah. Just makes a, a bit of a difference, shall we say, from uh, the weather we've had the past few weeks. <coughs> Andrew Hubbard, thank you so much. Hope you're doing well in Maidstone. Sid Squad saying three o'clock in the uh, in the morning there. <laughs> Enjoying the break. Hope you're doing well, guys. Honestly, absolutely brilliant. Joy Adams, thank you so so much for that. I really appreciate that, Joy. I hope you're keeping safe and well. Thank you so much. Just see there the uh, the flight control surface is checked. Yeah, Susanna, probably a uh, a good good choice. Joseph Elder, hello. Keith in Miami, hello to you. Lots of love for Sid Squad on the stream. Absolutely brilliant. So, on the move now. Looks like Yankee Oscar this time. Waiting for my radar box to update. I'm currently 56 minutes in, guys. 
Um, the time check here, 1600 in the UK, so 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I can hear a helicopter which sounds like the Met Police helicopter, I believe, once again. And it sounds like right on cue that the, uh, the Met Police helicopter is about to join us on stream. And bang on four o'clock. Yes, it is. So the other star of the show, the Met Police helicopter. Looks like it's maybe on its way heading over to South London again. Oh, no, it might be going to the... Uh, over to the north, though. So, once again on a Friday, the Met Police keep him busy. <laughs> Have a read every single... Uh every single week they come down here. Sis Quad, uh, Chris, when are you coming down? Do you know what? <sighs> I would like to think, when I, uh, once I've saved enough bucks, I would like to think maybe the end of the year, because it's a very uh, long way, and it's gonna be uh, quite a long, uh, quite a big trip. So yeah, I think we need to, uh, I think we need to sort something out. Maybe the end of the year. What do you reckon, guys? Should we, uh, should us and Sid Squad do a collab? <laughs> I think it sounds like an overwhelming. Yes. And the Turk is just uh, heading over the top of us. Typical into the clouds. Right, so this is uh, City Flyer, our oh, City, sorry, Flyer 35 Bravo that's up next, then, guys, heading out to, I believe, Zurich. Pay your price, James Quidlin. So it, look, it looks like that's an overwhelming yes. Then. So Cisco, we'll have to uh, we'll get to the summertime and then we'll start trying to plan something. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't mind the uh, the time. I don't mind the time trip. As I said, it'd have to be quite a long uh, a long stay over, though, wouldn't it? it? Wouldn't couldn't just do uh, two days. Put it that way. <laughs> Ian Bramble, absolutely brilliant. So do go and uh, do go and follow Cisquad, guys. I know that a lot of you already do. So it's nice to have that uh, inter-channel support. It's brilliant. So heading out to Zurich now. And the age. Oh, doesn't even give an age on this. This is Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Oscar, though, guys. Phase Cloud, thank you so much. So it's showing a little bit of a sort of variable crosswind. Nothing major wise though, wind here. That's Suzanne if you need that.
very high this time. I'm just going to wait for the handoff. Oh, I'm still wondering though, guys, if potentially we've got a bit of a delay on the Lux here. Normally... Adam Hartley, thank you so much for that Adam. Once again I really do hope you're keeping safe and thank you so much for the support. Uh, Sid Squad, it would have to be Qantas, I'd, I'd have to fly Qantas. I, I, I like Qantas, as a, a, it's quite quirky, you know, national carrier, so it would, yeah, it would definitely be Qantas, 100%. <coughs> But then the thing is, how would I, so how would I do that? So the direct flight, so where would it go? it go London to Perth, and then I'm guessing an internal flight, I'd have to get to Sydney. So that'd be quite a bit. Yeah, I think I'd have to, I'd have to do the Australian experience. I think that would be the, uh, the way to do it. Or I could fly the A380, where's it go? Into Hong Kong, and then Hong Kong to Sydney from there. Actually, I could sort of pace. Yeah, it looks like you could. You may be able to uh, fly two carriers. That would probably be me, though. But Qantas would have to be in there. I know, Julie, and that—that's the thing. I wish I could bring you all on that, all on that plane. <laughs> Uh, Miss Fulfurst saying uh, hello all. Hi to you, Julie Lena. Hello to you. Uh, oh, me myself. So it is. Uh, it is delayed a bit then because it's uh, it's normally here before four o'clock. So I wonder what caused that. Uh, it's getting his feet wet over the Netherlands. Yeah, Sis Squad. I I think it'd have to be the A380 via. Uh, or Hong Kong, sorry, via Singapore. Hong Kong, what was I talking about? Catch it every day. Yeah, but the um, the A380 via Singapore. Actually, that would be, uh, yeah, that's an experience. Well, you got me, ex you got me excited now. I'm gonna have to look into this. Freddie O said I was lucky enough to fly on the Qantas 7-4. Uh, Forbes, how are you doing? James Quidlin saying, some go to Melbourne, then uh, Sydney. Hong Kong, I don't know what's... Uh... What's going on there? <laughs> Next one inbound, though, from Amsterdam, guys. Uh, fly a Ford D or Ford Delta in from AMS. Beautiful touchdown. Hardly a puff of smoke once again. Uh. 
Tell you what though, Qantas haven't been deserving of uh, some of their some of the things that have been written online. It's like everything, just uh, little bits of rough patches. So 53 minutes ago this aircraft left uh, Amsterdam. 25 minutes of that was probably uh, the taxi out of the polar barn. to some more of the comments in just a mo guys as soon as we've uh... So thank you. Ah, oh, Sid Squad, that's brilliant. I will have a look into it, guys, and we'll uh, we'll talk about this through the. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about this through the summer, I think. It's an over overwhelming yes. It looks like from uh, everyone here. <laughs> Dicky Mavi, hello to you. Me, myself? Nope, not forgotten that. Yeah, Rob Brown, I'd love to, my friend. Yeah, have a read, always good. <laughs> Freddie O, I've heard that. My brother flew uh, Singapore Airlines on their A380 and he said it was, he flew in economy and he said it was, he said it was just phenomenal. Uh, Mick Smith, you are correct. Uh, Michael Samasa saying, good morning to all from Oklahoma. Hello to you. Clive W, thank you so much. Ian Clarkson. Uh, that is for worth. How are you, all you guys doing? Beautiful. aircraft inbound as well from Fere uh, Ferenz I believe that that is and this is flyer 8 uh, 80 November Juliet hour and 52 minutes ago guys and Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Lima operating uh, this service looking wonderful Well, yeah, I definitely do feel a bit better. I noticed that my cough sort of really subsiding. So whatever that thing was that I picked up, and I think the majority of you have picked up, looks like it's here, it hangs around for a few days. down it's again not even a touch or a puff of smoke the BA City Flyer pilots are uh, on form
I love it when they roll out just that little bit further. Great views. Michael Vivian, <laughs> I heard that too as well, yeah. ERB saying nice landing and me myself giving that a 9.5 out of 10. It's definitely uh, engine started over as well in the uh, in the private terminal. <coughs> Funny you say that, Ian, uh, Ian Stewart. On Monday when uh, when I was in Caister, I was along the beach and all of a sudden we only went down here it was like a caravan at ha uh, haven obviously other other places are available um heard a load of noise like rumbling above uh, like the caravan site and i was like what on earth is going on here all of a sudden we were buzzed by five f-18s low level over the top of the campsite i didn't have enough time to get the uh the camera out to record it but they were so low level and then the next day there was about two and a bit hours worth of f-15s doing barrel rolls all over the top of the uh, the campsite it was incredibly loud all of the car alarms were being put off it was a amazing experience uh, feeling and sort of seeing it Paul Hilbert how are you doing uh, yeah, doing a, doing a bit better, mate. So doing okay. Tell you what our F-18s are. Uh... An incredible machine. Richard Maltara, not a problem. Rich B F-18s, I don't know, I, I couldn't find anything. Obviously everything was blocked on every, uh, on radar, but everything was, was blocked on there. I didn't know where they come from. Maybe it was Lake and Eve. Uh, so if anyone would have an idea of potentially where them F-18s would have come from. So bearing in mind we're, uh, we're near Yarmouth, North Sea, but it was absolutely brilliant. Sushi, how are you doing? Fred for now, afternoon to you. Me, myself, so I'm from the left-hand side, Croatia. Can't see that for the second, my friend. Ilaz. Afternoon, Chris. Hello to you. Oh, wow. So, stand nine going to be the next one. Then and Polanco saying they've been at Waddington all week. Ah, oh, so it was Waddington then, guys. Right, okay. The Finnish Air Force F-18s. They were loud, though. Being buzzed by them, uh, them F-18s were just... The sound was incredible. <coughs> Martin A, thank you so much. Uh, Melonpan78 saying hi all, I'm a new face on this channel. Um, hope you've had a good Friday, had a fantastic Friday, and I hope uh, you have as well, and welcome to the channel. Uh, Casey, not a problem. Do not worry. Yeah, Dickie McVitie, I thought that the, the F-15s were from Lake and Heath, and the F-18s were from Waddington, so that would make, uh, that would make the sense, guys. Yeah, Mahoney, no worries. Yeah, Clive. 
as I said, I could not get any information. And it all happened so quick, I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't get my phone out to video it, but it was, uh, it was amazing. Says squad, and uh, trying to get back out there, Chris. Have a great day, mate, and thank you for always the warm welcome. See you, everyone. Says squad, take care. Have a brilliant one, and guys, remember, do go and give them a uh, a subscribe and a follow. I post some absolutely brilliant stuff. Their live streams from uh, Sydney Tower are just amazing. So please go over and enjoy, guys. So Sid Squad, take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Uh, Fence Master, thank you very much. Yeah, do you know what? There's a few comments about that. Is this actually real, or is this uh, is this flight simulator? <laughs> uh, Ruthless 1987, saying I don't know why I love British Airways so much, but doesn't the tower look cool? It does. Uh, I think the Chatham Dockyard is... It's just such a classy, classic livery. <coughs> David Legat, I, I had a feeling that might have been the case. Roberta Gomez, love to see London City. Hi Chris, how are you doing Roberta? Uh, the Heathrow fans saying hello there. And Paul Hilbert, uh, yes we put it up to a vote and it looks like uh, everyone wants Sis Squad and SDTV to do a collab maybe later on in the year in, uh, in Sydney. <laughs> Light the fire saying, uh, based at Waddington. Brilliant. Nah, Sis Squad, much love. Enjoy, guys. Take care. Fence Master Wiki <laughs> So, stand nine, the next aircraft that's going to be uh, heading out. And we're currently on a time check, guys. 16.23 here in the UK. Getting ready for building up to the afternoon rush. Beautiful. Lovely colours though guys, isn't there? When you've got the uh, the sun shining on a fuselage, they just look so clean, these aircraft. Sounds like there's another aircraft. Yes, there is. There's something popping out of the private terminal. And James Wilson, thank you so much for that, James. And a cat. Oh, he'll be saying Australia's amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> so that looks like Delta Bravo, Oscar Bravo India, I believe. Lovely shot of the DLR train as well over there in the background. 
So them red trains over there are the part of the Docklands Light Railway and they are driverless trains connecting, uh, connecting the city. And sometimes when you hear the things in the background like the metal, that is them trains that are behind me. The good old DLR. Beautiful. Very nice machine. Chris Goodwin, hello to you. Uh, Nick saying, hey Chris, hello to you Nick. Ah, oh, the smell of jet fuel. Beautiful, Samantha Vega, how are you doing? Clyde W saying the Lux here 20 minutes out. Uh, Samantha, I'm doing fine, hope you are doing well. Uh, David McLavenna saying, hi, the pilots need special training. Uh, yes, they do, captains only landing here at London City Airport. Inbound next with the KLM aircraft, which is currently up there in the clouds. So, KLM 59 Mike, inbound from Amsterdam here to London City, guys. Papa Hotel Echo X ray Echo. The registration on this aircraft. Clyde W sound the Falcon 2000. Lovely aircraft. Varane Travels, how are you doing? Samil. <laughs> and remember guys, if you are liking what you're seeing, please do hit the like button for us. Just helps in many more ways than you can ever imagine. Let's see if we can do a thousand likes once again. Why not? Almost 1.2k of you lovely lot watching here on YouTube. W saying the happy dolphin is now arriving. Smiley Dolphin. Very peaceful, very chilled out here, guys. Again, not even a puff of smoke. Ha! 
Sabi ka. <laughs> Next one out to Rot uh, Rotterdam, guys. So one in from Amsterdam, one out to Rotterdam. Uh, Flyer 5 9 Tango. DJB Planes, hope you're doing well. Finished all this paperwork now, absolutely brilliant. with the Lufty next. So, inbound from Frankfurt of Tarn's uh, two whiskey uniform. Oops. So, the Lufty starting to get quite busy here now, guys. So there you go guys, in from Frankfurt. Karen wants to say Lufty, good old Lufty. And the Dassel Falcon. Not really much info on that. Uh, to Arizona, how are you doing? And uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day indeed. Some of, uh, some of you wanted eyes on the lifty. Uh, Ian Clarkson, no worries my friend. Ooh, hang on, there is a Qatar, uh, what's that? Maybe it's an eight above us. Might be able to get a... Uh, <coughs> there's a Qatar over the top. Hopefully. I uh, mean, myself, that is correct. I'm going to see if I can. Uh, only problem is. Uh, the sun might get me.
beautiful. Me and myself, Gary Fellows, how you doing? Uh, Postal Santa, sitting in the field, <laughs> watching the aircraft. <laughs> Uh, Lucas saying afternoon from Brazil. How are you doing? Anyone that I have missed, guys? I do hope you're all doing fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, David Milbenner, yes, they do. They get off the ground very, very quickly here. Full power takeoffs. And afternoon to the Gatwick crew room. Uh, Martin A, another four inbounds for you within the next 20 odd minutes. Great coverage as always. Absolutely brilliant. So between sort of now, once the, uh, the summer schedules start to get in, it gets really, really busy here. Craig Russell loving the Qatar, Marcus and uh, One World Delivery, Forbes, brilliant stuff. If they come over right over the top of us, guys, I can normally get a beautiful shot of them heading over the top of us and normally a right hand turn as long as the... Uh, as long as the cloud sort of makes way, if that makes sense. Nora Corsa and the, uh, the Qatari One Worlds heading into Heathrow, brilliant. Uh, the drift from the hours, I would love to see a 7-4. Unfortunately, uh, few and far between now. Me, myself, no worries, Steve Rothwell. Uh, me and myself saying Lux is coming on short final. I'm going to keep an eye out just over there to the left. Simon Kirby, Edward James, Tony Cooksey. Nell W, how are you doing? Gabbro plays and hello. And once again, guys, if you are liking what you're seeing, please do hit the like button. We're going to see if we can hit the, uh, the thousand likes today. And why not? Looks like an SAS above us. Uh, so we've got LGL4603 Luxair uh, departed an hour and two minutes ago. Currently on uh, final. We take that back around. And there you go, guys. A Luxair Dash 8. Lima X-Ray, Lima Golf November. Ten years old, this aircraft. Need to clean my LCD screen off as well here. I was just cleaning off my uh, my LCD screen there. Beautiful dash eight. So stand eight is going to be parked up next to the lifty. And we're all on the countdown for the Swiss guys. Either the Swiss or the Helvetic. Should be due very, very soon. 
It must sound proper today to Arizona. Say London City would be a fun place. A <laughs> free in the simulator. <laughs> 700 likes. Thank you so, so much, guys. Honestly, I appreciate every single one of them. Thank you very much. Tim Duggan, how are you doing? And Nell saying, uh, so much better than the ATR. Winchester 13. Hello to everyone and happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day indeed. <coughs> Next aircraft that we've got inbound is from Malaga, guys. Oh, random, how are you doing? And this will be a very quick turnaround for the, uh, the Dash 8, as we're all used to now. Jennifer Merion, how are you doing? Hello. <coughs> we might just be able to get the uh, the shut down. aircraft in from Malaga. Be a city flyer. And this is 54 or flyer 54 Zulu. Bit of smoke there but smooth. Two hours, 35 minutes on the flight time. So there you go. And that's going to make a left turn and head down to uh, stand 2-4. Alpha Charlie operating this uh, service. Yes, Sam, we miss you already in Frankfurt, Germany. Well, thank you very much. We, we are going to try and head back out to uh, to Frankfurt. So do not worry. That will all be there. Samil, uh, Vicky Miller. Hope you're on the mend. Yeah, I'm on the mend. As I said, uh, I'm about 85% back. But uh, there's definitely something going around. So I've just got to uh, be careful. <laughs> That's about the only thing that I can say at the second. But yeah, on the mend. Beautiful. Next aircraft inbound from Prague, guys. So BA City Flyer, so Flyer 7338. Over there in the background. Duration hour and 55 minutes. Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Mike this time operating the, uh, the service over from Prague and 22 years old on the aircraft. And I'll get round to some more of them comments, guys. I'm just, uh, it's getting quite busy now, so I'm doing about four things at once at the second, so I do hope you, uh, you understand and are bearing with me. Vicky 
Team Bellamy myself. <laughs> Colette Harris uh, saying afternoon all I'm new to the channel and really enjoying it well thank you so much Colette and welcome to our family I hope you have a, a fantastic Friday we, uh, we hope to see you on many more streams have a brilliant one thank you for tuning in uh, Barry Price yes exactly that made me feel lethargic today as well so uh, I don't know what, what it was. Beautiful. So we man from Prague, this aircraft. Yeah, but Barry, it seems like everyone's picked it up, mate. So, uh, yeah, not good. Frog on the tube always looks like it's coming down on the water. <laughs> does it? Gives that a uh, little bit, doesn't it? And Hilton... Uh, Winchester 13 saying thanks Chris for the amazing stream my first time here today at SDTV well thank you so much Winchester 13 hope you can join us for more and uh, welcome along to the great family that we've got going on here Alex Heath how are you doing Alex now to start off uh, London City and a bit of Formula 1 brilliant love being along the dockside here it's quite nice as well that it's uh, it's a little bit warmer than it was yesterday and uh, on wednesday i believe it was showing about 13 degrees today 13 degrees c that is one three So spring may well be upon us. Uh, Lucy saying hello. Uh, hey SCTV, hey everyone. Love the new radar info pops up at the bottom of the screen. Hope everyone is good and well. Hello Lucy, good to, uh, good to see you. Glad you're enjoying it. And hello to you lovely lot over there on Facebook as well jo uh, joining in. Hope you're having a great, great Friday afternoon. Current time check 16.49 here in the East End of London. Still trying to sort that out, Barry, at the second. Two Arizona 1990s, and I uh, thoroughly enjoy your streets of City, Heathrow and Gatwick. It's time I join your awesomely kind atmosphere. Well, thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really appreciate the kind words. And welcome along to our, uh, our lovely little family that we've got going on. Go around them. Hello, everyone. Hello. <coughs> Already deboarded the, uh, the Lux here. If you remember last week, guys, it was about a 20, I think it was a 26 minute turnaround that Luxair had last week. Forbes, thank you so much for that. Uh, Samantha Vega saying, uh, Chris, I would be. If I can uh, get the thing, where are we? Uh, be very grateful if you gave my son Gavin a mention he's got a rotten chest infection right now but he's still looking after me thank you well hello to Gavin and keep doing well keep looking after and I hope you uh, you both get well soon so there you go Jacia Wanda saying hello Ian Blackwood hi to you uh, Nick a uh, Akelos I hope I've pronounced that right hello mate just subscribe well thank you very much Nick Absolute pleasure to have you here. John Driscoll saying, Chris, enjoying the show as always, buddy. Thank you very much. 
So the BA, now if we have a look, you can already tell the difference at this time of the day compared to other times of the day that we was broadcasting through the winter schedule. So already looking quite busy here with the, uh, the stands, a lot of variety. We're uh, gonna be on the, uh, the lookout for the Swiss. Very soon, I do believe they have uh, either a Helvetic or a Swiss A220 that turns up here around this time. But well, it was about the five past five mark that it was uh, due, unless it has been uh, delayed just that little bit. But there you go, beautiful. So some of you wanted to see the Dash 8, so we'll keep on the Dash 8. Uh, Webbo saying a cheeky tenor from the Cheltenham winnings. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. And uh, I hope any, everyone that was uh, watching Cheltenham, I do hope that uh, you had a bit of luck there on the races. Thank you though, Webbo. Appreciate it, mate. <coughs> uh, Winchester 13 saying that Helvetic is inbound in about four minutes from Zurich. Absolutely brilliant. So we'll get our... Uh, Oh, it's queued on that. Brilliant. So the next one, it, actually, it is the Swiss, guys. So it is... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Operating as Swiss, yeah. So it is Helvetic. Brilliant stuff. Clive W, thank you very much. That'll be the next aircraft in. It's a few miles out. Already got his clearance. That more Pete from Devon. Lucy saying, happy St. Patrick's Day. I believe that we're approaching the thousand likes. I think it's just a bit slow. Thank you everyone for the update though, much appreciated. Ah, right, so if we turn that around ever so slightly to the left. And the Helvetic inbound next. Uh, Casey saying the Logan Air. Looking forward to the Logan Air, guys. Hopefully, get some lovely shots once again. A beautiful old shortbread. Uh, this is Swiss 478 Victor. There you go, guys. Inbound from Zurich, Hotel Bravo, Alpha Zulu Bravo. Three years old, the aircraft. So, inbound from Zurich. Uh, 20, Miss Walls, I believe it's 20, 20, 25, 26, I believe. John Ricardo, hello to you. Everyone loving the Swiss. Uh, Paul Freeman, E2, phone home. <laughs> Such a variety here now. Been missing the uh, the variety, guys, and been missing London City at its peak over the uh, the winter months. Beautiful size of them engines.
very, very nice. Hakalos saying, Chris, you're a good. Yes, I am. Arsenal supporter. Yeah, not too. Uh, not the greatest of results yesterday, but concentrate on the league now. 800 likes, incredible, guys. Thank you very much. Not even two hours in, 200 to go to the thousand. Incredible. Thank you so, so much for your support. It's the only thing we ever ask of you uh, here, guys. This helps us spread our uh, message far and wide. Vic 20, correct. The colours here this evening are just absolutely beautiful. You can probably see that... Uh, it's very calm. It's much like a mill pond over there, the uh, the river. Utterly beautiful. Frog on the tube. I believe so, my friend. As I said, we're just taking our time with, uh, with the subs. We're just out here week in, week out, just doing the best we can, providing all of this... Uh, Aviation content for the world. Rosemary Mahoney, hello to you. <coughs> Stand free has already turned around now. BA City flyer. So once this is uh, parked up, the Helvetic. Get our eyes focused on uh, the aircraft on Stand free. Beautiful. Parking brake on. Lovely stuff. Uh, Rose me. Uh, Josiah Wonder saying bye to everyone. Have a good day. Josiah, you take care. We'll see you again on the next one. Postal saying just uh, saw a security job at London City, going to apply for it in a few weeks, might be able to give you away from inside, we'll go for it. Many, many uh, airports guys, the places that we visit are recruiting now for uh, for roles in the airport. Uh, Southend, Gatwick, London City. So if you want to work in the aviation industry, go and get yourself uh, involved guys. Ha, <laughs> Ian Blackwood, yeah, I've been... I've been dosed up on that lem sip. <laughs> Karen Monson, how you doing? Uh, Samantha, apparently there is, there's quite, during the summer there's a lot of people that fish along here. Lots and lots of people that fish along the, uh, the side of this riverbank. Uh, Nick, yes it is. It is the, uh, the same company as Swiss. It's owned, well they're both sort of, uh, it's like a subsidiary, but it's owned by Swiss. Uh, Nick, no, this is an Embraer, so this is a 190 Embraer. Uh, no 737s land in here, nor do any uh, of the Airbus family of 319, uh, 318, 319, 320, 321. Uh, the only Airbus family that you do get in here is the A220, which is operated by Swiss. Rick Calkin saying, thank you, love this channel. Not a problem at all. Thank you so much. Ashton Pope, how you doing? Jamie Campbell, it's great, isn't it? Not even two hours in. 
and 1701 here in the UK. Richard Jansen saying greetings from uh, Osborne, Pennsylvania, is that? The Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain has come here every year uh, to ride the coasters of Noble's Groves Park. Absolutely brilliant. Hello to you, Richard. Uh, Dartmoor Pete, the largest aircraft at the moment is the Swiss A220 that's, uh, that lands here. So that's the largest aircraft that you get landed here at the moment. But it should be the E2 195 once it has its uh, certifications. Wow, guys, you know what we were saying about uh, quickness? I mean, BA moved quickly, but already the Luxair has already turned around and they are already welcoming passengers on board the aircraft again. <coughs> Steve S, yeah. Uh, Paul Freeman, no, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, a fisher, fisherman. I don't do, uh, I don't do the fish. I, uh, Nick Akilos, yes, uh, I have, but uh, I haven't used it uh, because I've been busy building SDTV. <coughs> this was, uh, even though I love my football, this was a lot more important to me. Steve S and a weekend more is heading out. <laughs> and Dartmoor Pete, no, the load factors here at London City are very, very busy. Uh, probably 90 odd percent, I would say, on uh, all of the flights here. Very, very busy, the load factors. I know that the, uh, the Swiss are always full. All of the BA flights are always full. The Luxair, KLM. Foxy B, yes, you are correct. There was a there was a dolphin that was in uh, that was in the Thames as well at one point a few years ago. Was it a dolphin or a whale? Actually, it might have been both of them. There's all sorts of uh, marine life that's turned up in the Thames. It is very clean now, considering how it was uh, many decades ago. <coughs> uh, Julio saying, uh, good afternoon from Brazil. Hello to you. Ah, Vic 20. I always see fish, I always see people uh, fishing here. There is tons and tons of people fish here during the summer months. Foxy, but I thought it, yeah, it was a dolphin and a whale. Carl Shill, how are you doing? <laughs> so, Fly 86 November Hotel heading out to Frankfurt and an aircraft. Leave, maybe on approach. I can see uh, landing lights over there in the background. So this aircraft taxi in down, 384 miles to go, heading out to Frankfurt. Operated by Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Sierra. He's going to depart just in time. <coughs> uh, Steve, no, actually, the uh, I will show you. There is a sign right in front of me that says private, no fishing. But uh, yeah, there are many people that fish along this, uh, along this riverbank. Whether it's whether you agree with it, but uh, there is a lot of people that do do it. Tor Stephenson, hello to you. A 
and we have another aircraft in after this heading inbound from Barcelona. So, inbound next, uh, Flyer 8760, inbound from Barcelona next. <laughs> and the Luxair is already turned around, guys, and uh, it's getting ready to go. That is incredible. Ready to go as well. So up to stand five, this aircraft. Uh, Nick Aguilar, yes, I've been uh, I've been suffering with uh, there's like a bug going around in the uh, in the UK at the moment. It's uh, it's causing a cough and it's causing uh, runny wait, nose. Wait, you're playing spot. Uh, yes, mate, I'm uh, live as well on YouTube. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get involved. No, that's all right, mate. No. Yeah. That's why I walk down, have a drink. I like I sit down here, smoke a joint, and watch the planes fly by. No, yeah, exactly, mate. It's nice. You know what? That's how it is. Yeah, of course it is. Exactly. Nice chilled out vibe. If I'm left on my own. Exactly. I don't want to sit indoors staring at a fucking television. Yeah, I understand. Where it's full of nonsense. Well, I'd rather come out. Be careful on the language, though, mate, because this is on YouTube, so just uh, be careful Sorry, on that. That's, that's all right. Don't worry. You're all good, my friend. I'm James. Uh, Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Chris. Cheers, James. Take care, my friend. Enjoy. Take care. No, listen, you're fine. Don't worry. Enjoy. Have a good night. Take care. My sincere apologies, though, guys, on there. Uh, if anyone... Enjoy. Uh, TND are uh, saying hi, Chris Moss, and chatters with uh, the love from uh, Val in Allentown, PA, USA. Well, thank you so much for that. I much, much appreciated that. Thank you. Thank you so much. And my apologies, guys, for... Uh, if there was any language on there. If anyone does remember, quite a few months ago, that gentleman that uh, that did turn up and that was on the live stream that was uh, rather tipsy, shall we say, that exact same gentleman was the same person that you just see or you just heard on there. So my sincere apologies on there, but uh, welcome to the, the way of public broadcasting. Uh, Aidan White saying hello everyone from Manchester, Michigan, USA. Well, hello to you, Aidan. I really do hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Absolutely brilliant. Ashton Pope, thank you very much. Ah, oh, Chris S. And yes, that was the West Ham fan, if anyone does remember that, guys. From, um, must have been about seven months ago. Uh, that was the, uh, the West Ham fan. He's, do you know what? Fair play to him, though. He's enjoying the aircraft. He's got a 
He's got a beer with him. You know what? Who are we to judge, guys? But my apologies for uh, any, any foul language on there, guys. I cannot help sometimes being in a public place. Steve S. Alison R. Uh, David Powell from Monsanto. Just uh, finished work. Tune in to another fantastic stream of friendly chat. Hope you had a great day, David. Ah, oh, Tom Clements, don't even go there, mate. I love it. Joshua Leclerc, thank you. Yeah, he is, Emma. Do you know what? Shoot me hand. Fair play to the bloke. You know, absolutely brilliant. David T, agreed. And he's out watching the aircraft. Ashton Pope, that exact one. Oh, Cap's giving me hope. That's all right then. Alison R, I, I, if people treat me with respect, I'll treat them with respect, you know? <laughs> Honestly though, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And Christopher Paul Moore saying, brilliant stuff, just found, uh, found you will return again, again and great chat. Well, thank you so much, Christopher. Uh, Nick Sand, catch you later, Chris, and up the Arsenal. Brilliant stuff. Stuart Eves and Steve S. Yeah. See ya. Fair play to the bloke. Enjoying the aircraft. You know what? If it floats your boat, do what makes you happy, guys. So, just waiting for the Lux there. The KLM has now taxied out, or started its taxi out for departure. Uh, Maverick, yeah. <laughs> Vic 20. <coughs> Cam Monson, thank you. Ah, oh, Tony, yeah, that's it. Tim Robertson, go for it. That's <laughs> Steve S. Right, so chocks away now on the Lux here. So we have one, two, three. Oh, hang on, it might be four aircraft going to be heading out for the departure. It looks like the Lufty is getting ready to go as well. So we have KLM, British Airways City Flying our Lux here, and Lufthansa. All getting ready to depart. 17 14 here in the East End of London. So there you go, the Dash 8, now making its way out. And we have a City Flyer Embraer as well, due in from Edinburgh guys, a few miles out. About next with the KLM. Alright, KC, okay, see you later. We'll see you on the next one. Shrimp Fleece and hello from California. Hello to you.
and into the sun or into the uh, the sunset And inbound from Edinburgh, this one, guys. And I will get back round to them comments in just a mo. Might be the Lux here uh, heading out before the uh, the city flyer. <laughs> you alright, mate? You all good? <laughs> good. Happy, happy days. No worries, I'll see you in a bit. All good. No worries, man. Keep safe. Enjoy. So, Alpha Foxtrot. Flugel shaft. Great, isn't it? So the aircraft there, guys, uh, Yankee November. Flight 8724 heading out to, or heading up to Glasgow. And another aircraft currently on approach as well. We uh, bring that out. And the next aircraft over there in the background. Inbound from Dublin. Where are we? Where is he? Ah, there we are. So, this aircraft inbound from Dublin, guys. Uh, Shrimp Fleet saying those landings are really steep, they are. It's incredible. Uh, TNDR, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And Bruce, thank you so much. Paul saying the, uh, oh, that's the, uh, the aircraft while I was focusing on some of the comments. Template 16, how you doing? Very chilled out and relaxing here this afternoon, guys. So nice, so pleasant. And the Lufty making its uh, taxi down there as well over in the background. Beautiful. 
So, got to show his aircraft heading out for departure. Uh, uh, shrimp feeder, largest aircraft that can land here is the Airbus A220. Bruce, you take care as well. out next so there you go heading to Antwerp another new uh, a new route here Dan boy, not doing too bad my friend. Just getting over uh, some little cold slash flu thing. But uh, yeah, doing okay. Cameron saying that all finished, all ready for the weekend. Samil, take care, we'll see you on the next one. So the lift are getting ready to go after this. Next out, the Lufty. So, heading out to Frankfurt, guys, this one. Uh, Lufthansa free November Echo. Almost 1,000 likes. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Ali Cat saying gorgeous lights. Beautiful, isn't it, when it's like this? It's so nice. Uh, thanks to Parker, no worries. You have a great day. Uh, Steve S.A. is incredible. Those plates don't just fly off. Mel <laughs> uh, W, no worries. Shrimp, ple uh, shrimp fleece, and I love the prop planes. Keith Grafton, you take care. See you tomorrow, no worries. So just wait now for the lifty. Sounded like helicopter traffic, so I'm guessing that's probably the Met Police. Forbes, no worries. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. As soon as this is the party, guys, I'm going to blow my nose as well again because I can just feel my nose running. So uh, my apologies if you're getting any sniffles. 
Brian Young, thank you. Holding quite a long time there, actually. And lost in the dark clouds. So, where do we go? I can hear another chopper somewhere in the background. My apologies guys, I had to blow me nose there. Clive W, no worries. Clive Emily said, thanks guys, could do with a Baileys. Enjoy one my friend. Lee Class, how you doing? Uh, me, myself, I don't think we're gonna be uh, catching anything now. We've obviously, that, uh, that low cloud base. Uh, we can always try though. Brian Young, how you doing, Merciless? Brian Young. Exactly. Happy St Paddy's Day. John Bolland saying uh, this is such a great way to spend some time. I'd love to be there in person. It's very peaceful and very relaxing. So stand six. Might be so I've just been watching the uh, the road they're making their way across the field beyond my house. Very nice. <coughs> so it is aircraft on stand six. Guys, if anyone does have an update on the Logan Air, that would be absolutely brilliant. Merciless saying I thought I'd uh, catch some action. Well, happy 25th birthday to you. Hope you have a great day. Uh, me, myself, pretty much. Probably hear it. Uh, 
So quite a way out now, guys. Next aircraft inbound from Berlin. A few miles away already. And the next one is uh, Flyer 39 Monic. And um, Wayne says about yeah about 30. Ooh, yeah, about 33 minutes. That cat lady, no worries at all. Glad you've enjoyed. Uh, Roberta Gomez, that is uh, their connection to the cockpit. So the cockpit will be speaking to the ground, and the ground will be speaking to the uh, the cockpit. And then once that's all done, uh, all of that will be sort of put away, and the uh, it will all be shut. Chavs, thank you so much. Message of Mike, you take care as well. We'll see you again on the next one. So, depart from stand six this time. There you go. You can probably just see he's removed the, the chocks and removed all of his communications. Roberto Gomez, my pleasure. And there you go, guys. Inbound from Berlin, City Flyer, Embraer. Hour and 55 minutes of flight time and Golf, Lima Charlie, Alpha Golf, as your reg. Lovely. Move a silk. Hardly a puff of smoke from any of these aircraft, guys. Incredible. So it's going all the way around to the left. Robinson, no worries. Jason, uh, Jason Manders saying uh, Friday night is takeaway night. Enjoy it. Absolutely enjoy it. Jason Lemoyne saying uh, good morning or afternoon, depending on where you're from. Hello to you. And Tandy Allen, g'day from the USA. Hello to you.
So this aircraft heading out to Dublin now, guys. Let's fly a 37 Echo. Uh, Aslan Barilla saying, uh, keep up the good work, enjoy your channel. I'm um, under the takeoff flight path after they bank right. Absolutely brilliant. So you get all of these shots after seeing them uh, depart live here. Absolutely brilliant. Hope you keep him well. The clouds uh, right above us. Unfortunately, no, <laughs> no heat throw movements. If there was anything in front of us, everything would be looking lovely. Time check here, 17.38. Aslan, no worries. Very high once again. So the handoff for once again waiting for the right hand turn. Very nice. So the Helvetic now looks like it's got a, a few <coughs> of its bits and pieces now removed and the beacon light now flash, uh, flashing. Samantha Vegas saying 25 short of a thousand likes. Absolutely brilliant. Nearly there guys. Incredible stuff. Well, should I say Chris, I really enjoy the Friday afternoon stream. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, my friend. Glad you enjoy it. And looking by the likes, it looks like uh, everyone else does too. <coughs> Jeff Smith, hello to you. <coughs> uh, Foxy Piss, I'd love to fly in and out of here. Imagine the views. The, the views are amazing. If you are able to catch the aircraft when they are arriving on 09, which is where I am now, uh, if you're sitting on the right hand side you'll get a lovely shot of all of London and you'll get Canary Wharf it, it's just it is stunning um, coming in from runway 27 which is the way that they're landing now it's not the greatest it's uh, you come over sort of like Dartford and the views are not the best and we hit a thousand likes guys <coughs> absolutely brilliant thank you so so much Karen Monson loving the Swiss. So it looks like the Swiss is going to be the next aircraft out. Jason Limont, yeah, I've I've heard I've heard that. I've heard that. 
when I hope that they uh, they get something sorted. And over a thousand likes, thank you so much for all your support, guys. That means a lot. Not even two hours, 40 minutes into a stream. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Miss Flupage sans uh, subtitles not shown on YouTube. They should be. Everything's turned on. Yeah, everything is uh, everything's turned on. All the subtitles are turned on. So uh, I don't know. I'll have a look. Lucy Harris saying, I love watching LC1 on a Friday. Thank you, Chris. Lucy, as I said, thank you to you, lovely lot, for, uh, for tuning in so we can do this every Friday. The viewing numbers get better and better each week. It's brilliant. <coughs> yeah, I've just had a look. The, uh, the subtitles are on, so it may be a problem with... Uh, bits and pieces on YouTube. Hope you're doing well though, Lucy. I've just turned it, well, Jim, I've just turned it on. Uh, I've just turned CC on and it says, but then it might be when it's, uh, it might have to upload and uh, sort itself out. Tom Clarity saying I can't see live chat on YouTube. I'm watching on the live chat now. Everything's there, unless it's a problem there end. Amazing guys. So yeah, it might be uh, might be you have to wait until the uh, the video is processed for the subtitle to turn up. Uh, yeah, Lynn, I've got mine. I've got CCs on there. Just uh... all right. Must be a YouTube problem then, Heather. I've got mine turned on, CC. So subtitles on, subtitles turned off. <coughs> Gary Fellow saying on the Gatwick Express now, still watching. Thank you so much, Gary. Hope you're doing well. Live Everly, my pleasure, my friend. Glad you're enjoying. It's, uh, it's nice to get the feedback. But the picture and the audio is good and clear. Uh, the Swiss on the move. Steve Mace, looks like a lovely evening there. It's been pouring down at Norwich Airport today. Pitch quality is fantastic. It, it's quite nice out here. It's it's very it's very calm. It's very uh just very relaxing actually. I'm, I'm quite relaxed here this afternoon or this evening. Uh, undercover cameras, how are you doing? Uh, Mike in the house is saying, uh, send in a box of uh, virtual handkerchiefs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Yeah, hopefully by the uh, <laughs> the end of the weekend, I should be out of this awful cold or whatever it is that's uh, that's going around. Steve Baker, thank you so much for the continued support. As you can probably see with the windsock as well, they're very, very calm.
I'm sure he's saying Heathrow is looking busy tonight. Unfortunately, we can't see much uh, going into Heathrow because of the uh, the cloud cover. Uh, Abri Visa saying hello from South Africa. Hello to you. Hope you're doing well. Welcome along, everyone joining us from all over the world. Uh, Mike, yes, it's quite nice. Said it's uh, nearly ten to six here, and we still have daylight. <laughs> Susan has already got the uh, the Baileys in hand. Other cream liqueurs are available. So this is Swiss 4-3 Kilo guys heading back out to Zurich. Hour and 26 minutes flight time. Yes, he's saying Benji said he wants a rocket takeoff. <laughs> Hope you're both doing well. Hello, Cass. Uh, Emmanuel's Anthony saying love from India. Hello to you. Love uh, back from the UK to uh, India. And John Bolland, no, I stand. I I don't sit while I'm I'm streaming. I I always stand up. Four hundred and seventy-two miles to fly on this to Zurich. Beautiful. Lovely. <coughs> Carl, take care. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, TNDR saying, I uh, have to leave now. Thanks so much for a great stream and uh, chat. Take care and be safe, everyone. You too, and we'll see you again on the next one. Uh, next one. Where are we? Uh, Kevin Emery, how are you doing? Uh, Samantha, we're going to be here until it's uh, it's dark. Um, we're waiting for the shortbread, which should be due in very, very soon. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a look on the arrivals here. Uh... <coughs> right, 
we have a little look on the arrivals. So we've got the lot. Oh, that's due in at 25 past six, so that is delayed at, uh, at this precise moment. Uh, we've got another Dash 8 due in at 18.07. The Logan Air due in 1818, which is quite nice. Uh, it's currently near Weathersfield in the UK. Another KLM aircraft at 25 past. Let's have a look on the departures. 1740 so you might have to be just a little bit uh, a little bit more patient just at the second uh, some have fun I'm, I'm, I'm wrapped up I'm good. So yeah, there's a few uh, few arrivals inbound. It's quite chilled out at the moment. So another 13 days, 12 days even. It starts ramping up and it gets into a summer schedule. <laughs> summer curve, no worries mate. I hope everyone's doing well on Facebook as well. Oh, so quite a number of miles out the, uh, the next aircraft. Inbound from Amsterdam, uh, City Fly 6 Charlie Papa. Gonna be inbound next. And it looks like they're removing the uh, stairs. The city flyer over there, stand free. Looks like the next inbound has just uh, gone past Grays. Big Andy saying, please can you tell my dad, John Drummond, uh, to get on a plane, there's nothing to worry about. Well, there you go, John. Get yourself on an aircraft. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. You are as safe as houses. Ben Hartley, I will do. Looks like there's a... Actually, it looks like quite a bit of... Uh, Quite a bit of cloud has passed now, it looks like. The A777 over there. So we might get some, uh, we might start getting some shots now, guys, of the uh, the aircraft heading into LHR. So, uh, Cassie said that yeah, that was a triple seven, Cass. Brilliant. 
So this aircraft that we see over there, you can probably see two aircraft now in the stack for LCY. First aircraft, this aircraft here, inbound from Amsterdam. So good old AMS. Uh, Flyer 6 Charlie Papa. Golf Lima Charlie. Yankee uniform. We've already seen this aircraft uh, head over to uh, to Amsterdam today and head back. People look out for uh, any Airbus A380s though over the top of us. Oh, we always do. Okay, can he say then the 320 Neo? He said, "Ah, oh, bless him." <laughs> bless his little heart. Paul Sumter, hello to you. Ah, so that's the Luxair behind this. Beautiful. Lovely colours now turning up here. And next up is the Dash 8 once again from uh, Luxair. Rob Bowden saying, uh, Rob Bowden saying, beer in uh, and enjoying the stream. Happy Friday all. Enjoy. Uh, Samantha, I'd, to be honest with you, sometimes it is that they're just wanting a story. Majority of the time, it's uh, it's not as frequent as they make out. If you if we uh, put it that way. So the next aircraft in is the Dash 8, inbound from Luxembourg. <coughs> you probably see that there, just in the distance. Brandon Wallace, and does anyone know? Uh, Brandon, I don't, unfortunately. Uh, Tom Clote, saying a lot. E190 from Vilnius, about 17 minutes out. Creative button, how you doing? Down a little bit now, guys. So I'm just going to do my, uh, my jacket up.
Rolling past, lovely. Wendy, how are you doing? Uh, Jamie, loving the view of the A380 there. Should have spoke. That's going to say Benji's favourite plane right there. David Power from the same classy Dash 8. Uh, Alan Sheldrake, enjoy. Enjoy, my friend. Then one that I have missed out, guys. My sincere apologies. Gary Hurst, I love the embrace. Such a nice looking bird it is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Euro Naylor saying uh, BA4458 just took off from Rotterdam Airport, so that should be uh, very close. Just about 30 odd minutes. Another aircraft inbound as well. Next aircraft inbound from Frankfurt. And Emsley saying, uh, hello everyone, still daylight, hurrah. I'll get into that uh, bit of live stream. Hope you are better today. Just doing a bit better, Diane. Slowly but surely. So next aircraft inbound from Frankfurt. Some of the floodlights have now just uh, automatically been turned on here at the airport, guys. So uh, 10 past, or 18.08 here in the east. Next aircraft heading up to Edinburgh. I'm going to say I don't get to watch daytime streams.
Beautiful. I believe the sun has now set, guys. See, the wind's just blowing it just a little bit there. There it is. Next aircraft, that's a Dublin, guys. So, Flyer 4472. Oh, there's currently three aircraft now in the stack here on approach to London City. <coughs> Dustin, what is, how you doing? Daniel Burns, just watch that, watch that 380 pass. Pitsy, fantastic shot over London City. Like the next aircraft in Bam Wyatt. So one out to Dublin, one into Dublin. Oh, sorry, one out to Dublin, one in from Dublin. It's like uh, Flyer 9 Alpha Juliet. Very busy, guys. It's starting to really hot up here. I said, line them up. Gianmarco Bruno saying, get ready for uh, St. Patrick's Day. I believe a lot of people are. Kirby, it does. Uh... <laughs> Beautiful. Lots of people now along the uh, along the dockside here, guys, having their photos taken along with the aircraft. Looking beautiful. Uh, Tor Stephenson saying, looks beautiful at London Airport. Uh, you've got snow plows where you are, oh dear. Uh, ben Hartley saying, can you give a shout out to Paul Martin? He's down the other end of the phone on FaceTime with me. Well, there you go. Hello, Paul Martin. Hello to you. Hope you're doing well. So if we do have a look now, once we've uh, this aircraft going into stand three. Love it guys, nearly quarter past six and it's still light. Uh, Paul Racer saying, nice stream as always Chris, thank you, but I'm worried about you mate, time to uh, bin the smokes I think. Uh, I've got a rotten cold my friend, I've got an, an awful, awful cold that's, uh, that's going on at the minute. Uh, it's not good, put it that way. Uh, 
Next aircraft looks like it is the Logan Air aircraft. Yeah, Paul, no, 100%, I agree with you, though. Thank you very much, mate. So, yeah, I've got some awful uh, cold that's going on at the moment. If you have a look there as well, three aircraft currently in the stack. Looks like the next aircraft inbound is the good old trusty Logan Air. If anyone wants to focus. Uh, 1100 likes thank you very very much guys i much appreciate that thank you so much and russ agreed tm Sam brilliant stream uh never watched a london city stream before impressive one well we are here every single friday and we have been for uh, quite a long time a lot of years now <laughs> Hi Fred, how are you doing? Good old seagull in front of us as well. So the first time in quite a number of months now guys, it's uh, now light enough that we are able to catch the beautiful Logan Air. Cheeky shortbread. Uh, Barry Price, enjoy. See you on the next one. So nice seeing her again on the stream here at LCY, guys. Golf, Lima, Mike, Tango, Delta. Beautiful. So I know a lot of you have missed this uh, this aircraft on the streams over the winter months, guys. Lots of people missed the shortbread. Good to see once again. We're now coming into uh, the start of the summer shows and the summer schedules. Beautiful Logan here. Ooh, so where are they gonna park this aircraft then? Okay, right. So this is, uh, this is moving a bit further down the, uh, down the field that, I'm, that I've normally seen. So we always shut down engine uh, number one or propeller number one. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. So the next in, oh, hang on. Looks like we've got a BA aircraft in, and then I believe the lot. <coughs> so they're just shutting down. Right there, okie dokie. That's a new one to me. Uh, Lucy Harris had lots of aircraft in the stack now. There is, once you come into this time, it is very, very busy here at LCY. So, inbound from Belfast, this aircraft. Yeah, I'll be honest, I've never seen, a, I've seen aircraft parked there, but I've never seen a, an, air, like, like, an active aircraft that's uh, headed over to there. Starting to get very busy here at LCY now. Ah, oh, Lucy. <laughs> That's the, that's the dream. <laughs> and this aircraft heading out to Dublin there, guys, as uh, Flyer 4472. Steve Ruffle saying, nice seeing London City, busy after quiet streams over the winter. I know, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a hard one doing the, uh, the shows in the winter, guys, but this is what we're now picking up to. A very, very busy, busy airport. And this is still in the winter schedule, remember, for the next uh, about two weeks. Looks like four aircraft in the stack as well. And they are pushing back. It looks like they are now expecting quite a lot of aircraft, guys. So obviously all space is necessary. So it looks like that uh, the Logan Air will be offloaded right there. So if we do have a, a slight look around, you can now see one, two, three, four aircraft currently in the stack for LCY. The Friday night rush. Just going to, uh, just while we've got the last few minutes, guys, I'm going to uh, quickly plug the batteries in. Uh, bear with me two seconds. Right, so inbound from Vilnius, this one, the lot aircraft. So that is stand 12 over there then guys that they have uh, pushed back the Logan Air onto. In Blackwood, how you doing? Uh, Susanna saying it looks as busy at uh, uh, LHR. Or it looks as busy as LHR. Wow, look at that.
and the lot in from Vilnius. This aircraft will be heading on to stand eight. Uh, I did tell you guys, this is exactly what we're going to be getting ready for once again. Greg Turner looking very busy. And anyone that doesn't remember the uh, the summer shows. Wow, we have missed them. Yeah, Ali Katz and uh, <laughs> lost the internet again. Oh dear. Uh, Jason Limon, that's it. Uh, Tom Tom, the pigeon sound beautiful. Looks gorgeous in this uh, lower light conditions. I've missed how busy this place has been. Next aircraft in the KLM from Amsterdam. KLM 991 will be in next. I believe it's KLM 991 anyway. May this be the Sky Team livery? I believe it is, and the Sky Team livery, guys. Papa Hotel Echo Zulu X-Ray. Man from Amsterdam. <laughs> Lovely colours on that. Wow. I love in the uh, the Sky Team livery. What did I not say? Free in line. Alley Cat. Ah. Oh. I have missed this, same as you, I have missed these busy, busy evenings. All of the different variety, all of the sounds. Link Cable saying, oh, I've missed it, oh, wow. Chris, they're saying nice livery on that, beautiful. Ah, uh, Friday nights over the winter haven't been the same. Next inbound from Geneva, guys, Swiss. And we have the A220, so we are being very, very spoilt here this evening. Being patient has paid off for all of them months. Currently 18.28 here. Bit of low light and three hours, 23 minutes into the stream. Uh, Greg Turner saying it's the twilight hour at hashtag London City. Katie Price love that. Turn it round, the Swiss inbound this time. The beautiful A220. Inbound from Geneva, a Swiss uh, 473 Bravo. Look at that.
Hotel Bravo. Juliet, Bravo Delta. So both types. So we've had the Helvetic and the Swiss. Miss Wolves, loving it. Andy Harwick, music composer. I'm loving this. What a great place. Uh, it's, a street. it's amazing. This is why I've tried to explain to people how beautiful this is and how busy it gets during the evenings. Oh, this is just this has just made me so happy. German Airways, I believe, inbound next as well. So we'll keep our eyes on that. Let's just uh, pull that back out a little bit. A few miles out still. Uh, German Airways operating on behalf of uh, ETA. Dwayne MC, they are 100%. James Cridland saying five o'clock in the morning here, Australia time. I found a bed. Good night, all. Take care, my friend. Here, Blake was saying, uh, morning, Australia. And, uh, Mickey Mutt saying, loving the reflections in the water. Ah, uh, Molly's in the club, y'all. Do you know what? As I said, we've been uh, we've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Just you don't understand how pleasant this airport is until you've seen the uh, just how busy it can get if it ever wants to. Uh, Focus. So the next aircraft inbound. Uh, ETA 220. Flight number. Operating. Uh, or operated by German Airways. believe this colour, I believe this was an XBA Embraer, I believe. I might be very wrong. Delta Alpha Kilo Juliet Charlie. Bit of a hybrid uh, livery there for you guys. Looking ever so, ever so beautiful in this lovely, lovely low light. Lucy saying Twilight at London City, literally the crown jewel of British plane spotting. Lucy, not a problem at all. I love doing this. This has automatically made my, uh, me feeling a little bit rough, feel a whole lot better. Pull that back. So we've got another two aircraft currently in the stack. Uh, next one is an aircraft in from Glasgow. And it is starting to get dark now, but I'm quite happy. It's 1833 here. By the end of the month, we'll be back to our summer schedules again. McRide is saying that a beautiful livery there. Steve Simpson, a bit of Swiss roll me tea. <laughs> but Ryder Triple Seven saying love in the beautiful plains. And there you go. Tail light all lit up. Love them colours. Oh, 
this is such a privilege to be bringing this back again, guys. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. Uh, Tom the Pigeon, thank you so much for that, Tom. Honestly, I, I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you very much. I hope you're having a great day. Anyone that I have missed, obviously, in the comments, guys. Been uh, quite busy today. And I hope you all understand. Look at how busy the terminal is as well, guys. It's just, this is such a fantastic thing to be able to see once again. You can probably see four aircraft in the stack. Very, very busy. And this is City Flyer 69 Zulu November. Inbound from Glasgow. Hopefully, if it wants to. And there you go, guys. Bit of info for you. Mark Faber saying, been a while, glad I'm back watching. Hello to you, Mark. Ali Katsan being spoiled tonight. Just love the colours of the towel. I just love the towel lit up. It's just... And Yankee Romeo. Most of these aircraft we've seen arrive, turn around, head out, and come back within the stream of three hours and 31 minutes, which is pretty incredible. Uh, Denver McKay saying, remember your show from the control tower here. Awesome. Thank you very much, Denver. Hope you're doing brilliant. Oh, and the German Airways looks like he missed his, uh, his way of parking there. So he's going to have to turn back around. Thank you, though, Denver. Honestly, I really, really appreciate that. And this is all standard practice here, guys. If they are not currently, or if they not, ugh, they are not correctly lined up, and they'll have to uh, try again or try their parking once again. Just look at how busy the terminal is. aircraft in from Rotterdam so it's starting to get uh, quite dark here now have a read no worries take care <laughs> Jim <laughs> Oh, the airport sounds. And coming up on 20 to 7, guys. I had a shell joke, maybe. Uh, Jason Limon, not a problem at all. Take care and we'll see you again on the next one. Holly Mitchell saying, uh, loving your stream, Chris. It's fantastic. It's uh, so nice to be back against the, uh, amongst the busyness of a Friday evening. Ah, uh, Mike, it's great, isn't it? Uh, Terence Reader, 23 or 25, I believe. 
this will be packed here. Uh, these next two aircraft will be, literally the whole stand will be, all of the stands will be full. So London City, you will see it as a full, <coughs> full airport. And I think we've got to, uh, we've got to see that. It is getting uh, very dark though now. Let's see, filming in low light can always be a pain. Luxair already turned around. And in from Rotterdam, this one, guys. Oh, the sound. We've got the, uh, the towel lit up. My famous saying, love the lights off the water. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, Diane, it's so, do you know, this has just made me so, so happy. We have been waiting since the end of uh, October last year for signs of busyness uh, once again. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. And we have another Swiss aircraft as well, guys. Another A220 on its way in from Zurich. We are being ultimately spoilt here today. And this is just a taste of what we have got uh, to look forward to. During the summer, <laughs> uh, Gwenem, how you doing? Love the city show, everything looks beautiful in this light. Can't wait for the, uh, the clocks to go forward. I think you and many others there, Gwen. BM saying... Uh, BM, we've caught the uh, the very quick turnarounds, which was the uh, the Luxair. That was about 24 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, Graham McCleary saying, hi mate, great channel. I watched several times, but just subscribe. Well, thank you very much, Graham. Welcome along to the uh, the channel. Thank you so much. So the next aircraft, as you can now see, very, very dark, guys. And it is 1842 here now, so very pleased. So the Swiss, the second A220 of the show. And this is Swiss, 4, 6 November. And there you go, guys, in from Zurich. Just beautiful. Ah, this has been a pleasure watching this once again all unfold and the busyness. The Friday night shows are nearly back, guys. Right, I think what we'll do, we'll see the Swiss pull up as it is now starting to uh, get dark and obviously the, uh, the view is starting to diminish quite a bit. So we'll see the, uh, the Swiss park up, guys. And then I'm going to start packing everything away but uh once again royally treated looking beautiful 
and just a slight taste of what the summer months are going to bring the channel once again for the cult classic on the Friday evening. Ah, oh, BM is great. Mark Tyler said, hi Chris, just watching your stream in the, uh, the background. Great show, thank you very much, my friend. This is Sam, thanks Chris and mods. Honestly, thank you to, uh, to all the mods, guys. Once again, doing a fantastic job like they all do. But uh, even though us and me on the camera and the mods keeping an eye on things, we couldn't do this without all of you amazing people at home watching all of this stuff unfold and watching this journey that we're on literally take off so the Swiss is going to be the last one of today guys Uh, Nicola Carter, South Africa TV. See you tomorrow at Heathrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a brilliant one. So, there we have it, guys. Marshalled in. Parking brakes on. Cockpit light now on. And stopped. So, there you go, guys. A beautiful afternoon at London City. Being right, really spoilt. With potential views to come along so if we just have a, uh, a slow pan around one Swiss lots of BAs which we love two Swiss It is an absolute pleasure seeing near enough all of these stands fall. Look at it, guys. So there is one stand empty there. <laughs> And then turning it around with the good old Logan Air. Right then, guys. So let's turn that around there. And give you lovely lot. That beautiful ending. That we always show you. Right. 1.2k likes. Incredible stuff, guys. So thank you mods once again for, uh, for being you. Honestly, uh, an absolute pleasure. It's been a, a blast this afternoon. Had a lot of fun, lots and lots of enjoyment here. Thank you to everyone that is now newly subscribed. Thank you to everyone that's uh, commented for the first time. After watching for a few months, welcome along to the family. Uh, thank you to everyone that hit the like button. Thank you to everyone that donated. Honestly, we appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you so, so much, guys, for all of that. Um, right, we will see you again tomorrow at Heathrow for our standard uh, Saturday morning show. <laughs> Rachel Dawes, thank you. So back for our Saturday morning show. Uh, early doors on that one between 7.30 and 8 o'clock, guys. Uh, you know the drill by now, I think, for our Heathrow show. Uh, there without foul. Uh, absolutely brilliant, though. But, guys, I cannot thank you enough. So thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in. Honestly, you lot are absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to go and uh, have another Lem sip, try and get the, uh, the last bit of this cold um, 
out of me. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a fantastic Friday wherever you are all over the world. And I will see you all again tomorrow for the big one. So have a brilliant one, guys. Take care. See you all later. Enjoy.